Okay, so we are going to explore the maths module uh, and explore it using it as a sound generator, which is not usually how it's used, uh, and then self-patching it a bit and then uh, going from there. So uh, we're going to start by um, getting maths to, first of all, generate an audible sig signal. So we're going to patch channel 4, which is this right channel here of maths, into our output. And it's going into clouds, but clouds is not going to be active. Clouds is turned off, so this is just going out into the interface. And we're going to hear what it's like, and I also have a bit of reverb in the interface, so you are going to hear that. So right now we hear nothing. Uh, we're going to hit cycle, which is going to mean it's looping this. So what clouds, uh, what maths is doing is it's creating a, uh, a waveform that it's then cycling. We still don't hear anything because the waveform is, is too low frequency. Um, so we're going to increase the frequency. We can do that by increasing the rise speed uh, or decreasing the fall speed. So now we're hearing something coming out. Okay. So, so now it's, it's moved out of LFO territory into audible territory. It's going fast enough that we can hear it. And if we speed it up, we get um, higher and higher. Looks like that's that's the highest pitch we can get. So we're in VCO territory there. Okay, so let's let's uh, leave it there. And now what we'll do is we will um, uh, we'll use the uh, first channel of maths basically to modulate that. So what we're going to do is we're going to. Uh, take the output of channel one, which is this left side with its own rise and fall and log exp uh, setting here, uh, logarithmic or exponential. Um, and we're gonna patch this into the rise of this channel. So we're using this to modulate the rising side of the waveform here. And we're gonna cycle this so that it repeatedly sends uh, a waveform in modulating this. And by changing the rise and fall, we can change the shape of the waveform that's modulating this side's rising side of the waveform. modulation. Let's say we wanted to attenuate that modulation, meaning we want to decrease the amplitude, for example, of the sine wave that's modulating this channel, which is modulating this channel, which is our audio. So we could take that sine wave, put it into channel 2 of maths, and channel 2 has this attenuverter here. If it's wide open, we take the output of channel 2, put it into the rise, it's wide open, then it's it's as if we were just bypassing it. It's not doing anything. But if we close it a little, turn this down. And what it's doing is it's 
actually squashing the waveform a bit in terms of its amplitude. And if we go over here, it should actually invert it. Thanks for watching.